I've attempted this painting once before. I signed it on the lower left. But it's so complicated, and there's so many different variations on shadows and uh, different uh, met different um, minerals that end up making the hill look so complicated. I'm trying to simplify it, but I, I made um, a kind of an outline of where certain things are because uh, if I don't do that, I think I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to get lost is literally what's going to happen. So I've outlined the things and now I'm about ready to apply some heavy uh, paint to see if I can do this. And if I can't, then I guess nobody will ever see it. But let me see what, let me show you the photograph. Uh, and there's a study here someplace, but it's tiny and it's not going to help much. So here's the uh, photograph. It's somewhere in the Mammoth Lakes area. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I've tried it once before, like I said, it's so complicated that unless I make an outline of where certain things belong, I'm going to get lost. And I may still get lost. And if, uh, if it's successful, I'll, I'll videotape it. And if it's successful, great. I'll show it to you. If not, I'll probably just paint over it with something else. All right, here's my uh, here's my first pass on the various. Oh, and I've reduced the number of of uh, various masses or areas that are filled with different chemicals and different uh, different things that end up looking uh, have these different tones of orange and yellows and grays and. I mean, it's just an unbelievable, it's so difficult. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd share my first attempt at things. Uh, and who knows where this is going to go. But uh, I'm going to keep recording little bits and pieces like this so you see where I'm going. Here's another update of that mammoth painting with the various minerals being almost, uh, the, it's almost turning into an abstract because the various elements and minerals are actually separated by lines, as if uh, painting by numbers. Anyway, it, it is just so strange. But I'll keep going because it's, I find it a challenge. I just don't know if this is something that uh, uh, people are interested in because it's so strange and so different. But I, I'm finding it, uh, I'm finding that abstraction kind of interesting and let's see where it goes. It's time for another update. This is that mammoth painting. With the various elements being separated by colors of another element. It's really a very strange, almost abstract painting. I've been working on it. I'm getting a little tired, but I think um, there may be a possibility that this will work out. But uh, it's a long way from being a painting, then I think it'll be successful or sell it. But uh, this, anyway, but I'm feeling a little bit more confident in uh, the, identifying the various masses and where they belong and how they separate from one another. And, um, and so I think it may be, uh, it may be an interesting painting when I'm done. Here's uh, the Mammoth Lakes painting and uh, for the title I'm gonna have to find out exactly where this was and, and I'll keep looking in fact when I'm done today I'm gonna go look for the sketch because I, I'm pretty sure I had it let me tell you what we're gonna do next I've kind of uh, we've, uh, what I'm gonna do next is punch up this green back here I'm going to punch, the shadow is a, a kind of a dull green, but I'm going to make it a punchy dark green, again using brilliant green. And I'm going to lighten this area because the sun is going to be reflecting, coming from a shadow of a tree, every, from a tree or bush or a hill or something, so there's some shadow here. I may run part of it across the, uh, uh, across the road here too. Um, these trees are all the same. I've gotten rid of the ones that were there. I've replaced them. I don't like the idea of them being in this 
grouping here. That bothers me. So I'm going to make this one smaller. Hope I remember all this. This nice yellow green. This ye yellow tan. This uh, this sulfur or whatever the heck is. This iron oxide and sulfur and who knows what else is in these hills. I'm going to repeat that up here. I've got the shadow for it, but I didn't put in the highlight yet. Uh, I uh, these need to be get some color. Uh, I, I think that's about it. That's all I'm going to try this morning and see uh, how it goes. All right, if I'm quiet, that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking. <laughs> all right, I said I was going to um, bring that down. So here. Light's coming from here, so it's all right. Some old paint right here. This one can go larger, if I may. Yeah. Yeah. Using a lot of the uh, Winsor Newton, uh, what is it, uh, Yellow Deep. Let me see here. It's Winsor Newton. Cadmium yellow deep hue. It's I've been using that a lot. Whatever I, whatever I, whatever paint I use, and I want to get it to the more orangey. That, that yellow is orange. I don't know. I use a lot of that. I use it a lot for everything. Here's that gray that I wanted. Here's that gray that's, and I needed to get it more. That warm color. So here. There. Okay. Yeah, I like that better. I like that tree. That's maybe I'll make it even smaller, but I think that's fine. Plus, I'm going to punch some uh, color into this as well. Um, this is real orange, not a hue. Said I was going to. Yeah, I like that. That's it. To get to kind of this value here, it's still not light enough. There, a lot of the shadows uh, are. I like these blues in my shadows. I don't know. It's just I like the color. That may not be. The color that you saw, but I like that color. I mean, I like that color. It goes so well with the gray. And it's going to go well with the oranges and reds that I've got in here. There. I'm going to make this more like that gray here. Looking for that gray.
I should mix up a big part of that warm color and so I have it when I need it. There's plenty of red oxide. Mm. You can tell, if you've been following along, that uh, things have changed a little bit. Uh, the only thing that I haven't touched is the cloud, and uh, I'll do that sometime. But basically, I think the masses that I have, I'm pleased with them. I mean, there's so many... <laughs> I, I could, you could literally take a brush with any color and pop it in here, because the colors are so... Uh, unusual and so uh the, the yellow sulfurs and the red oxides and the uh and the gray uh those i'm sure are volcanic this is the mammoth area and it's very very volcanic and so i'm assuming that some of these things are volcanic and maybe the rest of the stuff is too in fact i'm sure it is but it has so many different metals and minerals in it that it ends up being a very colorful scene and i also figured out where this is. I didn't find the sketch, but I find that this is McGee Creek. Uh, the McGee Creek comes through here and runs out toward uh, Highway 395. This is just uh, just a couple of miles from Mammoth Lakes, and it's a place where I've taken a class for a, uh, for a workshop. So I, I'm kind of semi-pleased with what I've got here. And the cloud I'll do, and if you're interested, you know, uh, ask me to send you the, the last final image of it, and I'll be glad to do it. Uh, and I, you know I'll be changing things, but for now, uh, the hills, I just added this little hill here, which wasn't, which wasn't uh, in my original design. Uh, I made the peak here different. In the earlier design, it was more round, but it, and, and there's actually three peaks here. If I've left out one of them, if you go back to the very beginning, you'll see the photographs. There's three of them. Uh, I didn't, uh, didn't want to include three, and I didn't want to make everything smaller to, to uh, be able to include that third one. And, and this stuff up here looks like snow, but it really isn't. It is just, rock or granite, uh, snow right here maybe, but uh, there is no real snow. Uh, this is not snow. It's granite. It's something volcanic, uh, but it it's very light with the sun shining on it. Yeah, I've made this tree much larger, darkened this green, made this even lighter, introduced these dark shapes to kind of pick up the dark shapes that are in the background. So I've kind of uh, the other thing I did that I that I uh, that I liked I've kind of made this thing bulge out. It was very straight before, and then it cuts back in, and I like that. It's closer to what the the photograph is, uh, and I like that better. And that's one of the things that I really do often is that if I like what's in the sketch or what's in the photograph, and it's something that'll make a better painting, I certainly will use it. If not. I'll use my own judgment or my own design or my own shape and mass. So uh, overall, I think from a design standpoint, it works. I think it's an interesting painting. Making a frame for this is going to be a real pain. So it's 24 by 24. It's a good size. Like I said, the cloud still has to go. It's Maybe I'll just develop what's there and don't add much more. But it seems to be very typical of the skies. Uh, near Mammoth Lakes, California. So I think uh, I'm pleased, and uh, if you check back in, that may have changed again, but I think basically I'm where I wanted to be with this.